Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video I will show you how to connect a gigabit Ethernet adapter to a Fire Stick. Amazon offers an Ethernet adapter for Fire TV sticks, but it's regular Ethernet, so the best download and transfer speeds you will get are only 100 megabits per second. For a few more dollars you can triple your speeds with the Ugreen gigabit adapter that I use, plus you will have three available USB ports perfect for expanding internal storage with a USB drive. See my tutorial linked in the video description for adding storage along with links for everything that I reference in this video. Now since the Fire TV stick doesn't have a USB port I need to use an inexpensive OTG cable that allows me to connect a USB device. I simply plug the Fire Stick power cord into the OTG cable and then plug the Ugreen gigabit adapter into the USB slot on the OTG cable and then insert the Ethernet cord into the RJ45 connector on the adapter. Now I'm going to connect my Fire Stick to my TV and power it on. All right, you will see my Fire TV Stick has booted. The first thing I want to do is go to the gear icon, move down, click network, and you'll see there it shows that I do have a wired connection. So we know that the Ethernet is connecting properly. Back to the home screen. Now before we get into some speed tests, be sure to get my free secret app store guide that will show you how to get thousands of apps not available within the Amazon App Store. This is the reason why Fire TV devices are so popular. To get my free guide, simply click the link in the video description or scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or tablet, fill out the form, and the guide will be sent to your email inbox immediately. All right, let's get to some speed tests. I will be using Analyti for the speed test. You can download this directly through the Amazon App Store, and it is a free download. I'm gonna go ahead and launch this, and you'll see top left-hand corner, it shows wired ethernet. Now, if we were using Wi-Fi, it would show that we were connected by Wi-Fi. And you'll see there we're getting very strong download speeds and the upload speeds are very good as well. Now you may wonder why we aren't getting actual gigabit speeds and that's due to the USB connection from the adapter into the Fire Stick. 300 to 400 megabits per second is the highest speeds possible with this type of setup but honestly I don't know why you would need anything faster as you only need approximately 20 megabits per second to stream 4k video. Now one final note is to keep in mind that the newer Amazon Fire TV sticks come with incredible Wi-Fi chips inside of them and you will probably get better speeds using Wi-Fi, especially if you have a Wi-Fi 6 capable router. Again, link to my favorite Wi-Fi 6 router in the video description. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is unplug the Ethernet cable on my Fire Stick, reboot the device and do one more test showing you how strong the Wi-Fi connection is on this device. Friendly tip. Rebooting helps reset everything and I strongly suggest that you do that whenever changing back to wireless or from wireless over to the gigabit ethernet. And I am using the Wi-Fi 6 router that I linked to in the video description. I'm gonna go ahead and launch Analyti. Top left, it says connected by Wi-Fi. And you will see there we're almost getting 400, there it is, 400 megabits per second download and the upload speed is about 167, 68. So that just shows you how powerful these Wi-Fi chips are in these Fire Sticks. There might not be any need to use Ethernet, but I do know that many people do want that consistent connection or they may be in a situation where they're not very close to their router and they do need that hardwired connection. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I release new videos like this in the future. Also, as a reminder, be sure to get my free secret app store guide that will show you how to install thousands of applications not available within the Amazon App Store. Again, a link to that and everything else is in the video description. And you can also scan this QR code on the screen that will take you to the registration form for my free guide. As always, thank you very much for following Troy Point. Have an awesome day.